Young. He's Australian and he's the world's number one. It's not athletic swimming or any other sport. Felix Zemdex is the acknowledged master of the baffling and frustrating Rubik's Cube. It's 30 years since the cube was launched and solving the puzzle needs nimble fingers and a nimble mind. In the time it takes to finish this sentence, 14-year-old Felix Zemdex will unscramble the Rubik's Cube. And that's a tick over 10 seconds. Oh. It's still two seconds off his best, but for students and teachers at Melbourne's Hartwell Primary School, it was good enough. He memorised all the, the like spots and... Oh, it's just so cool. I thought it was pretty freaky and I don't think he's human. The school hosted Felix and members of the RMIT Cubers Club to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the confounding puzzles invention. The Year 9 students first saw the cube on the internet and the rest, quite literally, is history. Went up the street and bought one and with that I solved it in about an hour, I think, on the first try. Earlier this year he took the mantle as the World Cube Association's number one, recording the record for average solving time. The world record for a single solve still eludes him. Club president and fellow enthusiast Tim McMahon says it's a matter of time. I think he's got a pretty good chance because the individual one's 7.08, I think, and he's getting some lucky cases of like six and seven, but he just has to do it in a competition. 7.08, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try. I... It's taken 30 years, but it seems the cube has newfound credibility. Tim McMahon even met his girlfriend while cubing in a nightclub. Basically stood there for about uh, five minutes just cubing near the bar and she just came across, started talking. But for Felix, it's about next year's world championships and the hunt is on for sponsors to fund his bid to take on the world in Europe. And the young man is already preparing. Uh, he does practice a lot. Uh, you'll often find that he's got a cube in his hand at dinner time, watching the TV. Uh, that can sometimes get a little bit annoying, but... But today was all about the tricks and entertainment. Luke Waters, World News Australia. Clearly there's a science to it. Has that inspired you to get your Rubik's Cube out? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> 30 years and still trying. <laughs> to the